Good afternoon, folks. It's Brian Paragamian, senior trader, co-founder, professional stock trader, live.com. And what a week. Boy, I'm tired. I'm just, I'm, I'm wiped out after this week. Well, today we had the Dow closing up 40 points. Uh, what else do we have going on here? We had Research in Motion come out last evening with great earnings. The stock closes up 10.20. We have Apple again up another $3 today. We have the NASDAQ composite up, you know, 19 points. The semiconductors up another 7 points. One heck of a day for them. Uh, we had the banks up over a dollar. We had the retailers up almost four dollars. A real nice day. We had we we had the set, uh, the real estate investments trusts flying today. The REITs, the SRS got slammed today for another eight dollars. You know, fourteen, fifteen points here in the last couple of days. I think we're getting a little giddy here up in here, and I, I think you got to be real careful here. You had the McLaren oscillator plus two sixties, two sixty six going into today. I can't quite re recall that. That determines the overbought, oversold nature of the market. When you start getting up here and you start pressing over 300, that becomes really overbought, and you got to really be on the lookout to go the other way. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, even though this morning, you know, um, I wanted to be on that short side of the ledger. The unemployment number came out. The, the market responded favorably to it. You know, in pre-market activity, the S&P shot up four or five points. Then they settled back. Uh, we opened lower, and we bounced on both sides of the unchanged level before sinking. And we were down 70 points. And I just, I told our members here today, I said, you know, I just don't feel comfortable getting short here. Something tells me that, um, you know, it just doesn't feel right being on that short side. You know, I saw the semiconductors, the banks. I saw a lot of things acting well. I saw the FAS. FAS was, you know, barely, barely uh, up on the day with the market down 70. So, you know, some things alerted me. Same with the uh, SRS. Some things alerted me to not really get too bearish here today. And I mentioned this here on, on my mid-morning commentary to YouTubers. And that's exactly what happened. The market then did rally. Now, this is my ideal setup. You know, have the market rally today up, you know, this 30, 40, 50 points with the McClellan Oscillator at, at a plus 260, 266 reading coming into today. So that puts me in a, a much more comfortable position to want to get on that short side. The breath was fairly good today, 2 to 1 positive, as I said. But I'll tell you what, you know, I think I'm starting to feel a little bit too much giddiness this out of people here that this market can't drop and when you start seeing that and hearing that you really got to look to go the other way not to mention that you have earnings uh, pre-announcements and earnings season starting next week so I'm looking to get on the bearish side of the ledger I'm going to continue to stay along my core holdings until we get up into that $8,400 to $9,000 that I talked about uh, broadly defined range where I think we're going to top out it top out at and you know that's what I'm going to continue to do between now and then is just you know trade both sides of the ledger. But right now I'm, I'm looking really to get in on that short side. Uh, and speaking of short side, everyone knows here that I've been extremely bearish gold, uh, very bearish gold right now, trading down fourteen dollars in the aftermarket, right around eight eight ninety five. I wouldn't chase gold down here, but I, I think gold is on its way to sub five hundred this year or in two thousand and ten. If you're not short gold, I think you know let it rally, let it bounce look to get short into it because I think it's all done. You know, you can, you'll be able to pretty much just stay short this year as long as it stays below the 20 day. Oftentimes you see, you know, you see stocks or, or, or commodities and you say, well, geez, how can I stay there for that whole move? Well, if, if you, it, it's as simple as saying to yourself, hey, I get ahead of the game and I'm going to stay short this year as I am. I'm sure from way up above, I'm going to stay short until it punches out its 20 day moving average. And if it can't punch the 20 day out or the 50 day out, uh, I'm just going to stay short. And this, that's what you're going to find happening here. Gold is just going to continue to sink and sink and sink. You need to get short gold at some point because I think it's going to be one of the biggest home runs of the year for 2009 going into 2010. I think gold is all done. I think the, the folks out there that talk about you know, hyperinflation and all this stuff, I think they're just all full of BS. I think they're wrong. I think there's going to be continued deleveraging in gold. And I think there's going to be uh, deflation is going to be the problem here for the next several years, not inflation. Uh, so I don't really have a whole lot to add other than that. I think you need to be on the lookout to uh, get short this market here in the coming days into any further strength. Now, if you're having troubles identifying where you should go or what to do, or you're having trouble identifying uh, patterns and, and reading technical analysis and the charts and all this kind of things, using stops properly, we offer you a three-day free trial at our site, professionalstocktradelive.com. Go there. It is absolutely free. It's not like these other places where they want your credit cards or anything like that. We want to teach you. We want to educate you. We want you to beat Wall Street at their own game. And yes, you certainly can do it, but you need the tools. We've got the tools to help you do that. So go to our site. Take advantage of our three-day free trial. Our members absolutely love what we have. Daily live webcasts. They, they interact with us, ask questions. It's, it's really fantastic. And, and you get all this here for $10.99 a month. You can't beat it. We, we price it so it's affordable. 
affordable for anyone. We've got college students. We've got novice to veteran traders. It doesn't matter. We get nothing but uh, positive comments on what we're doing here, and we certainly appreciate all those. So again, if you're one of those people that you know, are even maybe just looking for, for trading ideas, uh, you know, at $10.99 a month, we had a new member here, as I, I probably sit here on, on one of these updates, that just signed up a couple weeks ago, and we had an HES trade that we, uh, a swing trade, as well as a, a day trade on, on Hess Corp that we bought, and he made the comment, he sent me a chat message back that he paid for our service till 2029, which is basically 20 years. So that's absolutely that's absolutely fabulous, and we're very pleased that people are are doing well and they're and they're becoming educated and learning from us and taking advantage uh, of the things we're teaching them. So I wanted to just share that with you because I thought that was a really a really neat thing to uh, uh, to hear by one of our members and, and one of our really recent members. So. Anyways, I appreciate all you for listening. I certainly hope you appreciate these uh, these YouTube updates that I give you. And I'll try and be back this weekend to give you a, a little bit more clarification on some spots I might be looking at shorting based on some of the charts. But right now, the best I can say is I'm looking to uh, get short this market, and I'm not sure where. But uh, if, I, if, if I identify those over the weekend and I have time to get back on and bring an update to you this weekend, I'll certainly do that. But have yourselves a great weekend, and we'll be back Monday morning.